The DRDO has confirmed that the development organization will display a Cavalry dry engine prototype at the upcoming Aero India 2021, which is a Cavalry engine derivative without the afterburner section, that has been developed for the Aura unmanned stealth combat aircraft program. The DRDO has done a lot of work into the dry engine prototype including its turbine blades, to make it to acceptable levels to be used on an unmanned stealth platform. It will have a dry thrust of 52 kN, and the first prototype has completed initial ground testing in 2020, and the fluid thrust vectoring exhaust nozzle that will be used for the unmanned stealth combat aircraft program has also been developed. The DRDO plans to test a technology demonstrator called SWIFT in mid-2021, that will be powered by an NPO Saturn 36MT turbofan engine, that will collect data on the flight dynamics of the design, and to carry out further improvements for the unmanned program. Officials have said, that a flight-worthy cavalry dry engine prototype should be ready for its flight certification in the next three years. The marketing license approval from the US government does not mean that a potential sale has become a much more realistic proposition for India, as the marketing license will only allow the company to hold direct talks with the Indian Air Force about the capability of the twin-engine fighter jet. The Indian Air Force seeks to boost its number of frontline fighter squadrons to 42, and the F-15EX is an expensive option when it comes to buying in bulk numbers, and there are doubts whether the US will allow the integration of indigenously developed air-to-air -air and air-to-ground systems on the F-15EX fighter. The American F-15 and French Rafale aircraft are old rivals, and both Singapore and South Korea had selected the F-15 mainly due to the relative maturity of the design as compared with the Rafale aircraft, which was a new aircraft in the French Air Force in 2005, as well as the strong strategic ties of both countries with the US. The Rafale fighter jet is more stealthier than the F-15EX variant, and there is no doubt that the advantage of scale of economy rests with the Rafale fighter if the Navy's 57 carrier borne fighter jet's requirement is added. The Indian Air Force has already built infrastructure and training support to operate 36 more Rafale fighters, and the lucrative French offer to transfer 70% Rafale production to India will also bring business in the country, while on the other hand, a majority of the F-15 export customers have purchased the F-35, rather than going in for the upgraded F-15EX variant. At a time when the Indian Army expects 6% increase in its capital expenditure in the defence budget 2021, highly placed government sources have said, that there will be a moderate increase in the defence budget 2021. A number of defence purchases are in the pipeline, which includes five regiments of K-30 air defence systems from South Korea worth 15,000 crore rupees, 400 howitzers from Elbit systems. 200 Camof helicopters and the license production of AK-203 rifles. The Indian Air Force also needs an increase of 12% in its capital budget to cater for an order of 36 additional Rafale fighter jets, and this increase will have to be sustained for the next few years with at least 10% rise annually. The Indian Navy has inducted only three submarines in the past 15 years, while China has inducted two submarines in 2020 and this report of modest increase in defence budget comes at a time, when the Indian Navy is looking to procure six more submarines under P-75I program worth 45,000 crore rupees. The Republic of Singapore Air Force and the Indian Air Force will conduct the 11th edition of India-Singapore Joint Military Exercise in October, in which the Singapore Air Force will deploy its F-16C Block 52 fighter jets to train alongside the Su-30 and Rafale fighter jets of the Indian Air Force, that will allow both the air forces to sharpen their operational skills and enhance interoperability through the air combat and mission-oriented training. Interestingly, the Singapore Air Force operates both F-16 and the AIM-120 C-5 and C-7 AMRAM air-to-air missiles, which is also operated by Pakistan Air Force, 
and it is expected that both the air forces will carry out long-range air-to-air combat operations to practice their beyond visual range engagements. The Ministry of Home Affairs has laid down a charter for Indian banks, which says that donations received in Indian rupees by non-governmental organizations from any foreign organization, even if the organization is located in India, should be treated as foreign contribution. The Foreign Contribution Regulation Act 2010 ensures that such contributions do not adversely affect the internal security of the country. Oh, my God.